Hey there and how you doing? I'm on an actual ship and I'm about to make some home brew. So I have to sterilize some bottles and some brewing equipment. This is a brewing keg that I'm gonna make beer in and it has to be sterilized or else the whole thing will be a waste. When brewing alcohol, you need sterile equipment, as in clean. I'm also gonna show you how to sterilize these bottles. How do I do it? I use bleach. That's a terrible idea. It's not that bad. You can even check on other websites. I'm not crazy, okay? Take the thing you're gonna be brewing in and add some water. This is actual ship water that's been filtered in my actual ship from real actual seawater. Next, put a touch of bleach into the water. You don't need so much. That ought to do it. Make sure that the area you're going to be cleaning things in is already clean and your hands are clean. You can even wear gloves, so long as they're clean gloves. Don't wear mittens. Here's a weak bleach and water solution and a paper towel. You can use a regular old towel, but be warned, the bleach will destroy any color. So just use it for this. Just clean the entire surface of the vessel. Clean, 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 clean. If your fermentation device has a valve like this or a little tap, just get your finger in there like so and make sure you clean it out. And also run some of that bleachy water through by opening the valve. There we go, a little bit more, just to make sure it gets all through there. I'll also clean the outside. You can even swish it around a bit, but be careful, you don't want to get it anywhere sensitive or on your clothes or in your eyes. Any hoops, don't forget to do the lid. Once you're satisfied that every part of the interior of your jug has had a good bleaching, you can discard it. I'm tipping it down the drain so other people can deal with my problems. It's true though, isn't it? Honestly, if I could think of a more responsible place, that's where I'd put it. But my apartment's just not equipped for that. Now, we want to rinse out very thoroughly. If you live in the USA or some other third world country that doesn't have fresh water in your home, you might want to boil some water and let it cool down and rinse out with that. The reason I wouldn't use boiling hot water is because it might warp the plastic. Give it a good rinse. You really don't want to leave any trace of bleach in there, for one, because you don't want to drink it, and for two, it'll not let your alcohol ferment properly. Okay, I've rinsed this a thousand times. It doesn't smell at all like bleach. There's nothing alive in there, not even a mouse. Put this someplace and brew your alcohol. Don't touch it, don't breathe into it, don't lick it, don't play in there a little while, okay? All right, so by now you're probably brewing your alcohol and it's coming up time to bottle. So you're thinking, hey Steven, how do I clean my bottles? Well, my name's not Steven, but here's how I clean my bottles. I take a sink and make sure the sink's real clean before I start, like that. I fill the sink with water, hot or cold, doesn't really matter, and I add just a little bleach, not so much. Then, I put in my bottles. Because I'm on an actual ship in the actual ocean, this sink only comfortably fits three bottles. I just spent about an hour looking all over the goddamned house, ship, to find this, and it was in the top drawer. Of all right, this is a bottle brush. Grab your bottles. Uh, I'll show you how to fix this later. Put your bottle brush inside the bottle. Wash, wash thoroughly, spin it around, in, out, up, down. Make sure you get the neck by bringing it up like that. Down, up, down, up, down, up, all right. Ah, yeah. Then make sure this cleaning solution's out. I usually put it over here for a sec to wait and do the other two and then put more, two more in. Ah, uh, three more in, sorry. Then I come over here and I rinse the crap out of the bottles. 
I often have a spare bucket nearby to save some of this mostly clean water so I can put it on the garden so that it's not wasting so much water. It is a very water intensive process, but luckily I'm in the middle of the ocean here. Once you've cleaned all your bottles, you're about to put alcohol in them, just do that again after they've been sitting a while because the water will pool at the bottom. That is clean, there's nothing living inside it. I often like to look down the bottom just to make sure there's no crud. Because I reuse my bottles, after I drink the beer or whatever's inside, maybe that night or the next morning, depending on how the night goes, I rinse it out and make sure that it's fairly clean before I put it into storage. That way, when I go to clean it next time, like sterilize it, it's a lot easier. Okay, you may have noticed that I had a little trouble putting this in before, and that's because it was stored stupidly and has become just all spread out like that. To fix that, grab yourself a rubber band or a piece of string or a cable tie or something. Straighten this up and put it on the end. Like so. And then store it like that. You can dip it into some hot water to, to give it a little head start. In a, in a week or however long later when you want to use this, it'll be a lot easier to put into the bottles. Okie dokie, as a tip. All right guys, that's how I sterilize my brewing equipment. You don't have to use bleach, but bleach is cheap and easy, and if you rinse it very thoroughly, you won't have any problems. Hopefully that helped. Take it easy. But how does he do it?